Hello and welcome to Security. This is a continuation of the Cybersecurity Home Lab project. And in this video, I'm going to be deploying the Splunk SIM. So, yeah, if you want to be follow, if you if you've not been following along with the project, here's the link to the project as well. You can go um, watch the other videos. And yeah, let's get right into it. So I have a basic Ubuntu server and I'm setting, setting it up and this is what I'm going to host Splunk on. So I'm just going to do the initial setup um, for Ubuntu. I'm going to give it the server name Splunk main and I'm going to pick a username and a password as well. So I put in the username and now I'll just type in the password. And confirm the password. Okay, so I'll click on done. And here, if you want to install open SSH server to enable secure remote access, you can do that. But I don't need that, so I'm just gonna skip that and click on done. And if you need any other services, you can select as well. But I don't need that, so I'm just gonna click on done and allow you to install. You have to wait for the whole process, but I'm just gonna pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, so now we're done with the installation and now I'm logged on to the server and I can start the um, installation of Splunk. So I'm going to go to the Splunk download website, just type it in on Google and click on the link. So next click on free Splunk and here, if you already have an account, you can log in, else you could create an account. So once you're logged on, you get to this page and you click on free trials and download page next. So on the free trials and download page, you scroll down and look for where it says Splunk for Enterprise. Okay, so there it is. And I'll click on download free 60 day trial. So this is the download page. You select your machine. I'm using the Linux machine. And um, I'm going to use the .tgz file, which is the um, gz file. But I'm going to be using the command line tool. So here, once you click on that, this page starts downloading. You need to cancel the download and click on command line wget and just copy the command. So here, yeah, what I did is I just typed out the command in my VM and now it's downloading. Um, you can copy and paste if you have copy and paste available. I didn't have copy and paste available, so I just typed out the command. So now it's done downloading. And the next step is... Okay, so let me expand the window. And yeah, the next step is to extract the gzip file that I just downloaded with Splunk. I'm going to use a command tar with the um, flags xvcf and specify the file. So it's going to basically ext extract this um, compressed file to this in to this my home folder. So I'll run the command and wait for it to be extracted. I'll just pause the video and come back when it's done. So now it's done. And if I type in the ls command to list the content of this folder, you can see the extracted folder in blue and the zip file still in red. So now I'm going to move this extracted folder. I'm going to move this extracted folder to the opt directory. I'll have to use the sudo command. Put in my password for lab root. And now I have the Splunk moved to the OPT folder. So I go to the OPT folder and I can see, confirm that the Splunk, Splunk folder is there. I move into the Splunk folder, um, li list the contents. And next I can move into the bin folder. And we have all the executables here. And I'm going to run the Splunk, the Splunk executable to start Splunk running on this server. And for the first um, run, I'm going to use the accept 
license tag to accept the license. So now I have to enter an administrator username. I use Labroot as my administrator username and enter a password. So the password policy says it's at least eight characters. And now you also have to confirm. So I confirm and now you're just going to install and start Splunk on the server. So I paused the video for the installation process and now we are back and you can see that now Splunk is running on this server on the port 8000. Next I'll need the IP address of this server so I can visit the administrative interface from another computer. And to be able to do that I need to install net tools and you can install it with this command. Once you're done installing that tools, you can use the ifconfig command and you can see the um, IP address of the server, which is 192.168.88.11. So next on the Windows 10 um, PC running on the same network as the Splunk server, I'm going to log on. I have this PC joined to an Active Directory domain, but I need to log on. Um, to reach the Splunk server, I need to log on to the local PC, not the active, not the active directory domain. So to log on to the local PC, I'm going to click on other user, and in the username field, I'm going to specify that I'm logging on to the local PC, not active directory. So to do that, I'm going to type in WS10, which is the host name of the PC, backslash, and the username of the local user on the PC. So I just click on enter because I don't have a password for this user account. So I'll just wait for the system to finish booting up and I'll pull up the browser. Um, I'll pull up the Microsoft Edge browser. And once that's done, I can go to the Splunk page, which is the IP address and port 80. So I have the logon page here. Next, I'll use the username I created while installing Splunk. And the username was labroot. Then I put in the password as well and click on sign in. And now we are, onto the, we are into the Splunk administrative interface. So I'm just going to close all these um, notifications. And now we are on the Splunk administrative interface. So in this video, we successfully deployed Splunk on a, in our lab environment, our home lab environment, and um, it's running on, the, on an Ubuntu server. And in the next video, we're going to um, see how we can configure forwarding and receiving so we can actually um, forward logs from other devices on the network and and receive them on this receive them and um, search through them um, on this Splunk server which is going to be our indexer and um, search head. So as usual if you're enjoying these videos please like and subscribe to support my channel. If you have any questions leave them in the comment section and I'll get to them and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.